doing so super well today staying hydrated living your best life my name is Janae and today we are going to do a little bathroom refresh plus organization slash I don't know just have a good time I recently moved out of New York City and am in transition to move to California, but for the cup for about four months, I'm actually gonna live at home with my family to save money and just have my cup filled up before I go to another big city. With the bathroom that I'm using while I am staying at home with my family, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh that space as well as give you guys some easy, affordable organization tips um, to help you kind of get that together. I know bathrooms are super easy for them to just get out of control, get chaotic. We are in an age of excess. Um, and so before I jump into any tips at all, the first thing is please, ladies and gentlemen, I know there are products in your bathroom that you either do not use, do not need, or that have expired honey. Actually, why am I holding my camera? I need to put this on a tripod. Bye. Okay, I'm back. So when it comes to bathroom organization and refreshing your space, you need to know this and this alone. If nothing else, this will snatch your life, okay? You have to purge, baby. You have to purge. I know you've got things under those cabinets and in those drawers that are crusty, dusty, musty. And just rusty. This isn't the most fun thing to do, but go ahead, open up your drawers, open up your cabinets, take everything out and assess. Get rid of what you need to get rid of. Donate what you can donate um, because you need to create the space to have this refresh and to organize. Nothing can get organized if there's junk in the way. Same with your life and your heart and your mind. Once you get rid of things that you no longer need, that is the best time to go ahead and give your bathroom a deep clean. Whether you're someone who already does this frequently or not, just go ahead and wipe things down. You can use cleaner spray, Clorox wipes, whatever you need. Um, not the most fun, but it has to be done. <laughs> Over time, things get built up on actual products. Wipe those down as well, just so you're not creating more of a mess. Okay, now that everything is out of the bathroom and it's all cleared up, I can go ahead and start organizing and putting things back. First, I'm going to try and figure out how I want things arranged in the cabinets, um, and then we'll move on to the countertops and other storage. Just to keep things real, trill, and to the deal. Why am I always trying to rhyme like I'm not Dr. Seuss? I do wanna be completely transparent here. This video, although it does have organizational tips, um, it also is more of a bathroom refresh video just to inspire you to create spaces in your home that are at peace and that are tranquil because <laughs> I am an aesthetic whore to the end. Send help, help, help. I know it's just a bathroom, but bathrooms take up a good amount of our time for morning routines, night routines, poo poo routines. Why not create a space that is comforting before you leave the loop? <laughs> baskets and bins, baskets and bins. It shouldn't burn it, it shouldn't burn it. Uh. Okay, I can't sing that song. I start, saw it on TikTok and it's really disgusting. And I need to stop watching what the teenagers are doing because I am no longer one of them. Too old for this shit. Let baskets, bins, and containers be your best friend. It's mostly for the aesthetic, but also baskets are so convenient. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff these baskets with um, products. Basically, I'm gonna put the things that I don't use as often in the back, and then the things that I do use on a daily basis will be in drawers as well as in these front two baskets right here. Okay, let's just see what happens. You never know. You 
see, that was really not that difficult. And now everything has a place. I have these wooden drawer dividers. Um, dividers aren't necessarily necessary. However, they do help with organization where you can keep makeup products, other beauty supplies, skincare, um, oral care, face care, literally everything just kind of separated so you always know where things are and where to grab, what needs to be replenished. Um, and this is especially great for someone that doesn't have an over the sink cabinet. It's my paw paw. Hey, Booby, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you, old man? I'm doing good. If you are in a temporary space, I know a lot of you guys are students or you rent in your apartment. Command hooks to the grave, okay? At, at command it and demand it. Uh, and you can hang it. Uh, 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 uh. Um, major thing would be hair tools. No one enjoys storing them. They're not an aesthetic. They're clunky. They take up a lot of space. I was thinking you could put it in something like this, which is a little file folder. Then I have my flat iron, my blow dryer, and my curling iron all in this. I don't have space for that, so I'm gonna use my backup plan. I have this door holder and I have wrapped the cords nicely. And essentially on these loops, you can just hang your hair tools on the loops. My next idea is going to be actually using two baskets and putting some string or ribbon or um, twine, whatever you have, through the holes in the basket and then hanging it from this. This could go terribly wrong or terribly right. It is a risk we're gonna take together. So uh, yeah, we're gonna give that a try and let's see how it turns out for you. white country chic. I kind of like it. I think it's kind of cute. I'm trying to give you guys as many ideas as possible that will work best for your space. Something that you could do that I'm sure you've seen before. Um, this is all over the internet, but in case you were someone who has not seen this, you can use one of these carts like this. Um, they have them at Ikea. This one my mom actually uses for our laundry room, but um, I'm still gonna style it for you guys in case you are someone who has enough floor space for something like this in your bathroom. However, if this color is too bright for you, like this does not, this does not match my aesthetic. No, no. But Ikea actually just came out with new versions of these carts they've had forever. And they have more subtle colors, um, more neutral colors, I think. this isn't gonna work for our bathroom because I love it. I think the cart turned out super cute. It's very convenient. It can be wheeled around. Um, but yeah, we just don't have anywhere where we would put it. But this is an idea that you can use in your space.
Okay, you guys, that is it. I hope that this video inspires you to get into that bathroom, girl. Get it cleaned up a little bit. Get it organized a little bit more and get rid of some shit. If we're not already connected, don't forget to like and subscribe. We should be connected. There's no reason why we shouldn't be. So, yeah. All right. Love you so much. Bye. My knees are dying. I am not the youthful whore I used to be. Uh -huh.